Hey everyone, um, welcome to another video. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting um, and quite exciting because it's never been done before as far as I can see. We're going to be creating a website from scratch and hosting it under a cPanel account or an Apache server. But we're going to design the website in Webador. Now Webador is one of these kind of website designer programs, a bit like Wix.com. Um, uh, a bit like WordPress as well in a way, lots of themes that you can choose and you can sort of very quickly design a really good looking website. But we're going to host it on our own cPanel rather than on the Webador servers. Uh, so that's quite good. But also what we're going to do is we're going to secure that website using Cloudflare so that we are protecting it from hackers and also if you um, request any information from your customers such as contact information uh, or credit card details then it will all be secure you'll have the padlock um, in the browser window uh, so that the customer knows that everything is secure okay so that's Cloudflare so first of all let's create the domain in cPanel now I've got a domain name that I've had for years I don't use anymore it's called vision, visioncns.com. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, that domain in my cPanel. And that's going to take uh, a few seconds to do. So we'll let that, that go on and do that. Whilst we're doing that, let's go to Webador. And this is the program. Uh, you need to create an account, it's free and you need to add a new site to that. I'm going to call it visioncns.com. And here we go, we get a bunch of templates that we can choose. I'm just going to start with this business one here, start with this template. Uh, there are various plans, and we're going to go for the free one. Now that normally would mean that our Vision CNS website would be on a subdomain of Webador, so it would be something like visioncns.webador.co.uk. But later on, I'm going to show you how to get around that. So, first of all, this is our uh, basic template, and you can go in and you can edit, you know, this kind of stuff. And got lots of features here, lots of different templates. You can have menus, drop-down menus, multiple pages. You can drag in images, um, contact forms, a map, all this kind of thing, like, like you do with Wix.com. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and publish that. So that's that's fine as it is, as a basic web page. So we're going to choose the free website on Webador. So Vision CNS is available. Webador, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that. Now, of course, you can host on Webador with your own domain name, but you have to pay for that, and it's about £7.50 a month minimum to do that, which is fine. If you like this product, you could go ahead and do that. And here we have our site here, visioncns.webador.co.uk. Let's go and have a look at that. And hey presto, we've got our wonderful new website. We've got our cookie banner down here. Uh, and all that kind of thing. You can go ahead and you can edit that again, choose a different template and bits and bobs like that. Okay, so that's fine. So we've got that website. What do we do now to get that hosted on our site? Well, all you need to do now is view the page source. So right click anywhere, view page source. Um, here's all the lovely HTML markup. So we're going to grab it all, control A, copy that to the clipboard, control C, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to connect to my cPanel Vision CNS domain via FTP client. I use WinSCP, but you can use Core FTP or any number of other clients. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it index.html for reasons I won't bore you with, um, but it's going to be called that. And then we're going to paste in that lovely HTML and Control S to save. So we've now got that Webador designed 
website, all that code, pasted in to our own domain. So now we should be able to go to visioncns.com, cms.com, and we should be able to see that web page. It's not actually quite there yet. I'm just going to go back to the uh, cPanel creation and see if it managed to create it. So hold on a second, I'll just check. Okay, well, don't know what happened there, but it's it's there now. So we've got up here visioncns.com, and as you can see, this web page is up and running and uh, looks absolutely fine. There's a bit of work I want to want to do to complete the actual web design, but that's all something that uh, you, know, you, you can take your time with. So, notice, however, there's no padlock in the top corner. It's not secure. So what we want to do now is to secure this website with SSL. So that means that instead of it being uh, HTTP colon slash slash whatever, Vision CNS, it's going to be HTTPS. Okay, and to do that, we're going to use Cloudflare. So go to cloudflare.com, create yourself an account, log into that account, and you want to add a new site called visioncns.com, and you've got a choice of plans there. We're going to choose the free plan. So this will give you the basic security on that website. Now, quite an interesting, interesting thing is it goes and gets the DNS records from the internet um, and pulls them in to its own DNS server, um, which looks something like that. So that looks absolutely fine. Let's, uh, you can, so things like MX records and A records and C main records and so on, they get pulled in automatically. You may actually have to add um, some of your own ones manually if they're not the complete set. And then what you must do is you must change your um, name servers to Cloudflare's name servers. Do that at your registrar, so that's going to be GoDaddy or 123Reg, or in my case, Heart Internet. So I'm going to go ahead and change my name servers. I'm just logging into my, my Heart Internet, manage domain names. visioncns.com, manage now. And at the moment, all my management, all my records, my A records and MX records are here, but I'm gonna change name servers to Cloudflare. Uh, the other one is called NAYA. Okay, so we've got uh, Dane, nscloudflare.com, and Naya, nscloudflare.com, change. Okay, so that's now happening. That will take 24 hours. Actually, it says up to 72 hours, but normally that kind of happens in around about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to pause this video for a second, uh, for what, for 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and see what happens. So what we've done is uh, we're going to uh, carry on through this wizard, check name servers, that's done. Uh, the type of connection that you want between the browser, the customer's browser and your website is, I'm going to go for full on here. Um, there are some other configurations if you've got, or some other considerations, if you've got other services on different ports, then you may have to add those in yourself and you can't proxy um, all the different ports with the free version. You can only proxy um, you know, secure port 80 um, and the HTTP, uh, HTTPS one, 443, I think it is. So anything else, any other ports, you'll have to pop them in, um, in the DNS records manually. So that's fine. I'm gonna go for always use HTTPS. So if any customer comes to my website, it will have the padlock in the corner. You can turn that off. Uh, and there are other ways of forcing HTTPS, but we'll, we'll go with that for now. And that's it, that's done. 
So I now have um, my Cloudflare name servers looking after my website. Uh, there are some <clears throat> some anal analytics you can uh, you can see web traffic and page hits and things like that. So it's Cloudflare is pretty good to do anyway. Okay, so now let's go back to our Vision CNS. So what I'm going to do is going to go back to here. Fingers crossed, we should have. Now, if you ever get this page, um, it's normally a caching problem. So Control Shift Delete will bring up, what well, doesn't matter if it's Chrome or Firefox, Control Shift Delete will bring up this history clear uh, feature. So I'm going to clear absolutely everything in my Firefox because I don't actually use it. So that's all going to be clear. So now F5, fingers crossed. No, it isn't there. That's probably a problem with uh, Firefox, actually. Let's switch back to my normal web browser. And we'll go to visioncns.com. And that has worked, okay, so I, I didn't need to clear anything. But again, if you do need to clear it, control shift delete and clear everything, including your cookies and so on. Don't clear your passwords or the autofill uh, form data because it gets annoying having to keep retyping that in. Uh, okay, so, and here we go. Here's our padlock in the corner. So your customers now know that this website, if they enter any information like credit cards or contact information and they submit it, it's going to be protected from end to end with secure sockets. You can see the HTTPS there. And that's it. So we've now got a fully functioning, uh, nice looking designed website that we created on Webador, but now we're hosting on our own seed panel. Um, hosting site with a domain name um, without that Webador subdomain up here uh, and it's protected via SSL okay so hope you enjoyed that so don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any comments leave me in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible okay thanks for watching and I'll see you next time